Welcome back to the video, guys. We're here at the garage. I'm here with my boy, Baggies and BS. Rich just, just made another <laughs> nice purchase. So <laughs> right in back of us, you see this elephant in the room, the brand new 2024 Harley Davidson CBO ST. Such a long name. But, um, dude, congrats, man. Thank you, dude. Congrats. Appreciate you. Congrats. Uh, <laughs> where, 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 where do we, we go from this? Uh, listen. Honestly, well, hold on, hold on. Before even that, like, can we let everyone know what bikes you had in your garage right before buying this last week? Right before Harley came out with this. Yeah. <laughs> so I had the 2021 Road Glide CVO that was all done up, soup mm -hmm. to nuts. I had the 23 Indian Challenger mm -hmm. that's all done up, soup to nuts. And then the I got I I purchased a 23 CVO Road Glide Road Glide non ST that was getting ready to go in for some work. Yeah. Um, then Harley came out with this, and I lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, dude. I, I am, I am, I got issues. Um, so what, what What bike did, did you end up trading? The 21. The 21? 21. So I you traded. sold the 21, the, the outgoing <laughs> model, and then you kept the 23, which is the same model? Yeah. I mean, me personally, I told this guy to get rid of the 23, and just keep the 21, but that's just me, so you can have, you know, yeah, so old and new. A variety. But it's your bike and it's your money. Do whatever you want, dude. Well, let me tell you, some people may not like this answer. My reasoning for it, mm -hmm. I love my 21. Anybody who knows me personally knows I love my 21. I put a lot of time, effort, and definitely money into it. However, um, you know, pretty soon nobody's going to be looking for the older models. You know, that's the reality of it, I, in my opinion. With this new shark nose and the new CVOs out and the new body style overall, my opinion is just that I'm not saying anything against the old body style. I love it, but I feel like I would have ended up with a paperweight. You know what I mean? It's you know I owed some money on it. I felt like it would have plummeted ultimately. If you're gonna keep it, then you're awesome. Yeah. You're good to go. No worries. But me knowing me, I knew I probably if I decided to sell it next year. Or six yeah, months yeah. from now? Yeah, I think I hit. Yeah, I was going to take a major hit. Far more than what I took. And to be quite honest with you, I actually did pretty good on it. So I can't complain. Oh, which, wow. you know, we spoke about that all the time. Yeah, camera. yeah, yeah. Um, but that, that was my reasoning. It's like, you know, and at the end of the day, I probably can sell the 23 CVO if I really wanted to. Yeah. Would somebody would be getting a steal with carbon fiber wheels on it mm -hmm. already? What was it about this that kind of made you say, you know what, even though I got a 23, I got to get the same model which is obviously a different type of bike honestly everything everything about this thing when they came out and i was like you gotta be kidding me it's such a good bike it's it's such unbelievable a good bike. dude what when 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 i first when I, when we saw it in videos and photos i was like oh my god that's really cool it's, it's awesome when i saw it in person when, when i was out there in, in las vegas and i got to ride the thing i was like what the hell did harley do right here like harley basically just came out with a bike from factory basically a uh, uh, a performance bagger that anyone will kind of put together with cool parts that don't even look like they're hardy parts you know it's just yeah. from factory so you if whoever wants to buy this bike doesn't really have to do anything to it like if you don't want to it's already all souped up 100 percent. um people like us we tend to still change things around <laughs> but this this is a type of bike that you buy you you really don't have to change anything around like it comes with that look uh, performance bagger look that performance style aesthetic and performance at that it comes with everything um and, and, it, and it's just awesome that they would really offer that oh, what the fuck is going yeah on? um no you're not wrong i mean listen when i went to go see it at bergen harley i was like in shock how beautiful it was i was like wow the paint oh the, the black one that was yeah there. the black one that was there and to be honest with you the black really like None of oh, these bikes, so nice. it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The white is gorgeous. Like pictures and all this. You can watch YouTube all day, look at all of them. Does not do the paint any type of justice. Like, I don't know if you've seen, if you notice this paint in, in the sun. Yeah. But you, you see the gold. gold in it. Yeah, 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 I love it. That gold shimmering it. under it. Like, it's beautiful. I love it. It's somebody, awesome. Somebody said it to, uh, I was at work the other day and uh, one of the, the light was shining down i was getting yeah. ready to leave and it was nighttime he goes man he's like look at that gold flake and i go you see it and yeah he's like, yeah he's like bro it's awesome yeah, yeah. Really but cool. uh i mean i listen I, what sold me on it was i sat on the one in the showroom over there mm -hmm. 
And the minute I sat on it, put my hands on the bars, and they weren't even adjusted for my liking. Mm. I was like, this is perfect. I'm like, this is perfect. I'm like, Harley did everything. I mean, listen, everything's, nothing's foolproof, right? Everything's Nothing's perfect. perfect. Right. But it, it's a huge improvement. 1,000%, bro. Okay. I was just like, I can't believe it. I'm like, front and rear suspension, intake, mini floorboards. I mean, like I said, there's little things that I may want to do eventually, but hand position for me bars is a huge thing yeah like where it sits how it feels you know i guess because i'm a bigger guy and uh i mean i think it is for everybody it's just you know for me it's always been something but sitting on a stock bike and saying i don't have to do anything to this if i don't want to like i literally said that to myself that's the plus rob came and met me at the, at harley and i was like rob sit on it he's like all right i want to look at him like rob sit on it <laughs> i couldn't urge him enough to sit on it Sure enough, he sat on and said the same thing, and uh, and it's, it's just the performance because I mean we we talk we look at it from an aesthetic point and we're like yeah we really don't have to do anything to it because it looks beautiful and the parts everything looks aftermarket on it which is awesome from factory but then it also has a performance aspect to it yeah that it works it really works like it's not just like I don't know if you remember back in the '90s a lot of cars would come with buttons that you could switch like the mm -hmm. drive modes mm -hmm. like this has the drive modes that work. You know what I mean? It has the suspension. Like, it has all the appearance stuff that actually works. It's not just, mm -hmm. hey, this looks like it works. You know what I mean? It actually works. And that, that 121 high output engine is, another, is a piece. It's another one. It's another one. That, that is another thing. Like, I was like, you know what? So I'm different from your 23. 100%. So 100%. different. Because, so, I mean, <laughs> you, you ran that bike all around. I spent a lot of time on that bike as well. And that bike, that CVO comes with, with the VVT option on it, right? Which yeah. is great. It's awesome. It it's, is. But I think VVT is more for those people who are going to really lay down those miles, you know, be on that bike all day, all night. Um, and, and, and you're going to have that power low end, that mid range, that high range, super smooth all around, 100%. but with a lot of power, right? 100%. This is the like sort of opposite. This is just like boom. power, boom, straight out the gate. Let's go. I, I mean, like I told you before, when I just for that quick ride that first night that I rolled on it from fourth gear, yeah. and I look down and I look and I look at the speed and I'm like 120. I'm like, oh, I'm like, ooh, I'm like, I'm yeah. slow down. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't trying to do that. Yeah, it just happened. I was like, wow. I'm like, I, I, Junior I'm, was right. <laughs> yeah, dude. Cause I, I, I was out in Vegas with with, with the with the Harley launch and like I'm we're texting back and forth whenever I had any time to. You know, answer my phone and I'm letting him run my head, dude. Like the bike feels like this, the bike does this, the bike is awesome, the bike is this. Like, You're gonna love it. Yeah, I, I told like, you that. You did, and you called it, and I was like, when I got on, I was like, I love it and more. Yeah, I'm like, it's only a matter of time before I'm here talking about this. I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm a little upset at myself because I didn't take advantage of being on that track like I should have. Because the whole time I'm just literally recording and talking, I'm trying to pay attention to everything. Yeah, and I just didn't get. In there, like the way I kind of really wanted Hammer to. Hammer down. Yeah, like I'm, I'm I, even on my bike. Like I don't know. It's also like on my bike. I feel more comfortable just ripping it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, sh I should have taken more advantage of that. I, listen, it is. You'll have opportunities again. I'm sure. Hopefully. Well, I, yeah, I, I have a friend who has one. So. Of course. Oh. <laughs> I'm like. I'm thinking. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm thinking. You have another friend. <laughs> I'm your only friend. <laughs> That's right. You can't have another friend with an ST. That's right. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'll tell you about this, bro. And, and I, I don't know, you probably agree. For being a new bike, it inspires confidence on it. Like, you know when you're getting used to a bike? It's a suspension, dude. Yeah. The, 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 the way it's like dialed in, it's it's really stiff. And then the inverted front end, which yes. helps a lot with it as well. Um, which I'm a little upset that Harley-Davidson didn't add it on the standard models. To me, it makes no sense. Right. When, you know, like... Challenger has it on all, on all, on all, the, right. all the all the trips, you know. Right. It's weird, but whatever. Um, but the inverter front end, the suspension is uh, it's it's a major factor into it. It makes it really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very. I mean, just appearance wise, that performance bagger look. Um, you know, I I, I do want to do some comparing down the road. With I'm the sure. uh, what? With the CVO, with the standard CVO. Uh -huh. I think that would be some good stuff for us to just look into. Just again, just because this is supposed to be so geared towards performance. Mm -hmm. I, listen, we know we can take it cross country if you need to. Of course. But like you said, they went all out on the performance aspect, and that's something that I want to explore for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, and with you guys, all the guys that I ride with, to really like get your opinion. Like, hey man, let's take this one and the other one out. 
and ride it for a hundred miles and then swap. Yeah, yeah. You know, like those are those are things that I'm interested in really, really looking at. Uh, Tune in for that. That's coming then. It's it's awesome. Tell me uh, real quick, but what what are some like your favorite things on here? Oh. Like aesthetically. Aesthetically, the bars. The bars. I, I do as of right now. The well, bars. The bars are gonna be more functional. No. They are functional. No, you're right. You know? but, but from, like, the, from the side view, for me, after I rolled them forward, I like the aesthetic look of them because okay. it looks more T-barish. You don't really see the, the, the low bend bar so much. Um, the footboards for me, I love them, dude. I love them. I, I, I love, love them. the design of them. I like I like the fact that they went with mini floorboards. It's real grippy. It is. Um, and, and the design is real nice. It's like I, you wouldn't you wouldn't know that these are Harley Davidson. You know what? Like, I, 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 I would buy these. I'm like, oh, I shit, I'm going to put this on my bike. I would 100% buy these on my bike. They're, and they're probably very similar in size to the thrashing ones I had on the 21. Yeah. So, I, I mean, they're good. Listen, and if it's not grippy enough for you, throw some skateboard grip tape on there. Yeah. I, I personally, I think they're But fine. it is. I think the grip I think is, is fine. Yeah, I think it's perfectly fine, to be honest with you. I haven't had an issue. And I wrote it. It was my feet were wet the other day leaving work. I like I like the seat cow. I think it was a super cool little addition just to add on yeah. it. It looks nice. The seat on here, believe it or not, is amazing. Unbelievable. Uh, on, on the standard, it's okay. It's like it's it's a good seat. It's a is a it's a big upgrade from the outgoing models and older stock seats. But this seat here, something about it. It's, it's just, more comfortable, right? Oh yeah. It's not just me. I, no, no, it's more comfortable. Cause I I had a, a text con conversation with somebody and they were like, "Isn't it the same seat?" And I'm no. like, I'm looking at it. And I'm like. May look at appearance wise in terms of the curvature, and everything, but it's this. I sat on this. It, it, it feels different to me. Hundred percent. It feels different. But, um, but yeah, the the, the seat cow is pretty cool. I, it was I like it was like all right. Well, let's just put this on. I'm like that's cool. I love it. You the know? seat cow. The grips are really nice. I like I absolutely grip. love these grips. Like the design was good. The grip on the Fantastic. actual grip is good. I it's would, a real nice design. Like, you know what? I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change anything. I would not. I, change I wouldn't change the these grips either. No way I would change these. They're nice and grippy. They feel good. They look good. Um, they don't feel too thick. Uh, yeah, they're good. I wish they would have put something a little different mirror-wise. Well, that, that's what I'm surprised because if you have, usually they'll do the whole set with the floorboards and and the mirrors and everything else. Like right. Empire Collection that I, I got on my bike. Well, right. not anymore, but I had on my bike. My CV, the 21 had the Kahuna. So yeah, so it's things. it's everything. So I'm I'm not sure why they didn't do it with this one. No. Which I mean, I actually like the old stock Harley mirrors. Yeah, I, I don't dislike cool. them. I just feel like I was just surprised. I don't like I said, I don't dislike them. I just I'm surprised they didn't do yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the red accents. The red accents as well. Love it. Love it. I mean, I listen. I don't know if any of you guys follow my channel, but if you saw the the 23, I put red risers, yeah. and I'm like. I'm like, of course they came out with red accents. <laughs> really nice. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, the forged carbon fiber, which I hear, I seem to hear a lot of people like, oh, I'm not a fan, but I think we had a discussion about this. You know. It's subtle. It is. Well, when, 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 when it's done subtle, it's, it looks very tasteful. When it's like all over the place, I'm not a fan of it. Right. That's what I don't think I'd do it all over the place, though. Like, I think just like that is enough. And uh, I, for me, it's just being different carbon fiber like I like yeah. different like there's some things that you do with your bike that I like that made it different stand out from all the other road glides and even if it's not my choice I like the way it looks because it's different, it's different yeah. yeah 100% and I was like you know what that's genius now I can't do it because he did it <laughs> it's all right man we're, we're part of the same crew but those are the things that like that stands out to me uh the, the engine guard I love yeah I love that, that they really, really cool I'm surprised that they didn't put the real ones on this one because it comes with the matching uh, real ones. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you, you can always add it on. Are you gonna add those on? Probably. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Why not? Yeah. But yeah, the, the, this one was pretty cool. I, I like it. Listen, they gave me nothing to change, so I gotta do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know. It's, it's like so hard. It's like I mean, I, I was an asset. I'm like, all right. Well, looking at it, it looks really nice. It's, it looks beautiful. Like, is, is there anything you want to add on to it that you'd be like, you know what? I want to change this. I want to add this. I want to change that. Or no, you want to get into it right now, but there is. Nothing. No, I, you know what? Well, listen, two into one. Exhaust. Oh, for sure. That's that's for sure. It's not because I don't like the, the Screaming Eagle the way they sound, uh, the way they look. I just, you know, I prefer a little bit more sound than... Even the airplane is really nice. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I mean, I love the way it, 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 it like, it's just out there. It, it screams performance to yeah. me. 
Me, I think off the bat, uh, if it was mine, two and a one, for sure. I I'd look for a uh, uh, a cam that would be compatible to this engine. Well, listen, I, I'm not saying that I'm not, not I thinking, but that is coming. The same matching rotor in the back. Yes. So it can match up and be nice and clean. Yep. I um, noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a few, few little things here and there that I, that, that I would do, but not, not much. Like, there's nothing much that you can... I'm sure there is, but it, it's just, it's done up so nice. It's done so well that you don't really need to go crazy. Like, yeah. I don't need to spend 10 or 20 grand worth of upgrades and little doodads to really make it my own. Which brings me to my next point, because people are like, well, that bike is... What is it, 42 grand? Yeah, 42 grand. Wow, well, you know, why is that so expensive? Like, well, it's a lot of stuff you're getting on here. Yeah. All that power, all the static stuff that y you on a build, you're gonna end like if you're gonna go all out, like on your build, on my build, yeah, you're talking 15 to 20 grand. Easy, easy, that's and, not, and that's not even including labor, I don't think. <laughs> and that's not including labor, right? So, you know, so which that's just parts. <clears throat> so, imagine, so I mean, a bike like this, I, I, I mean, for me to be considering selling the CVO that I just got with the carbon fiber wheels is. To me, speaks volumes about why, and it's yeah. because of this thing right here. Anything else you want to add, sir? I mean, if you get a chance to ride one, ride one, because it's the power delivery. It's so torquey. You know, that was one of the questions. I was like, how much more power can it be? Because I felt the other CVO was pop man. It's a big difference. Is way, way. It's. A, I would say this is comparable, if not faster than my twenty one which had the 475 cam, I did 123 horse, 138 torque. So stock, it's comparable to a 21 that's I mean, you had a bunch of stuff up. on there. Yeah, yeah. You changed a lot of stuff. I did. Yeah. So, that's, so that says a lot. Yeah. And then even some stuff that people don't know about this bike, like you you, you, you got the liquid cold heads on here. Um, the throttle body was redesigned. Yep. The whole, the whole internal system inside was also redesigned in this engine. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I so the, the, the chamber combustion and yeah. all that. The whole area is brand new. The way design. the oil flows and everything. The too. way the air flows as well. So the, it, it's way different. There's more airflow and it's designed to go in. Into the cylinder. Yeah. Combustion chamber yeah. to build, build more power. Yeah. Every, everything is different. See, I didn't know that. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of little details that people are just like, well, well. No, it's more than, than meets the eye. It's Transformers. Not just, Transformers. More than meets the eye. <laughs> it's not just an me. <laughs> Bringing it back, bro. Bringing it back. Um, I, yeah. I love it, man. I, I mean, honestly, I, I uh, you were right. You were right. You called it. You're, like, you're gonna love it, and I do. I do. I can't wait to see what they come out with. And I also like that I noticed that Harley's that now offering so that you can take a standard model and do some of these things to it. Add the boards. Add the carbon. Like that, 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 that video that I posted. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Bro. yeah. How do you guys feel about this? I posted that video and I got some, some feedback on it. But you can, if you just want to buy a standard road glide or street glide, all the parts that are on this bike, most of them, you can buy them and add them on from the Harley Davidson catalog. So you're talking about the, the carbon parts. You're talking about the rotors, uh, the, the floor, uh, uh, the floorboards, the crash bars or bag engine guides. Yeah. Someone correct me. I'm like, shut up. It's, it's, it's a crash it's bar. It's the same thing. It's the same, same thing. Purpose. Whatever. <laughs> um, uh, different seats. That step up seat that Harley Davidson has. Only got a step up seat. It's I actually saw that. Really nice. oh, I saw that. I was it's like, really nice. It's like, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah. They're 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 going all in with with their stuff. Um, so yeah, you could if you kind of want to buy a white one and make it into like a ST kind of clone type of thing. Oh, you you oh. you can kind of do that. You know, I mean, you're not gonna get the performance with it, but you can. That's up to you. You could build that out yourself. Hundred um, percent. Listen, yeah. All in all, I think Harley did an awesome job. I like, want one so bad. <sighs> so bad. I see one in your future. The not so distant future. <laughs> I want one so bad. Yeah. Hey, listen, if someone came knocking on my door, man, like, listen, I'm going to offer you I'm gonna offer this much for your bike. In case you're listening. You know, I, I, I jump on that. I jump on it. I, I sell my bike. I mean, everything is for sale for the right price, you know? Absolutely. Um, am I going right now to go buy one? No, but... If an opportunity, you know, happens to come, then why not? Whatever. The right opportunity? Yeah. I would definitely do it. Um, dude, congrats. Super happy for you. Thank you, bro. You got a 23 CBO and a 24 CBO ST and an Indian Challenger, and and you're rocking. I am. <laughs> congrats, I am. man. I am. Right on. 
Guys, what do you guys think about the brand new Harley <clears throat> Davidson CBLST? Absolute beast of a bike. Um, like you said, if you have some time, go out there, throw a leg over it, try it out if they let you because there's only a few of them around. Um, it's a cool bike, trust me. Just go out there, take a look at it in person, and uh, be open minded. That's it. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.